ongoing fallout from the Israeli airstrike that killed seven foreign aid workers in Gaza, which the IDF admits was a mistake. The U.S. president is among Western leaders expressing outrage. At the NATO meeting in Brussels today, Canada's foreign affairs minister reiterated the call for an investigation. And we now know the names of the seven who died, including the dual Canadian-American Jacob Flickinger. Let's bring in CTV's Heather Wright with more on the Canadian. And Heather, what can you tell us about him? Sandy, we know Jacob Flickinger was a 33-year-old dual citizen of Canada and the United States. He had been in Gaza since early March, volunteering with World Central Kitchen, helping to distribute much-needed food. According to a GoFundMe page set up to help his family, Flickinger leaves behind his partner and a one-year-old baby boy. Ambulances carrying the bodies of some of the aid workers crossed into Rafah, Egypt today as anger about this strike grows and questions remain. They were targeted systematically, car by car. Chef Jose Andres, who started World Central Kitchen, says the team was initially hit in one vehicle, tried to escape to a second, and was eventually hit again in the third. They were targeting us in a deconflicting zone, in an area controlled by IDF. Them knowing that was our teams moving on that route with two armor, with three cars. There are unconfirmed reports the Israelis believed a Hamas militant was in the convoy. But the IDF controls the area the team was moving in. And experts question why its troops didn't stop the convoy instead. Why did they pull the trigger in the first place? Um, there were other options open to them before they should have fired the missile. Today, Foreign Affairs Minister Melanie Jolie joined other countries in calling for a full investigation. Israel needs to respect international humanitarian law, and we will make sure that that is the case. Israel has apologized for this strike, calling it a tragic mistake, but there are concerns that it has set back efforts to get more aid into Gaza. Three cargo ships have been turned around, aid groups are operating much more cautiously, and the Red Cross says it is nearly impossible to carry out work safely. Sandy. CTV's Heather Wright.